Hi everyone, it's me, Brittany, here at 35 weeks and two days pregnant. So, getting on up there. So, basically, my symptoms are still the same the Braxton Hicks, the vaginal soreness, the backache. I did have a little concern last week because I had like six Braxton Hicks within 30 minutes. And it was like 1.30 in the morning. So I went ahead and called the doctor's answering service. And I was just so surprised how quickly after doing that, my doctor called like within five minutes with it being so early and everything. Because last time I utilized the answering service with my previous doctor, I got a call from a completely different doctor. And that doctor, it was a private practice, so it's not like... It was a different doctor from the group calling me. So just to be talking to someone I wasn't even familiar with. But anyway, so that made me feel more reassured about my decision to switch. So basically she just instructed me to lay down, see if they continued. And if they did, to go and be checked out. So I had a few more after laying down, but eventually they subsided. And Monday, I had a what they considered growth in size ultrasound because they, the doctor was a little concerned, just wanted to make sure she was growing okay, which that's fine, you know. But I had been gaining weight and my funnel height has been within range, so I wasn't too concerned about it. Basically, um, she's approximately five pounds, two ounces right now. And the tech who did it said that the doctor may say that the baby is measuring small, which I don't understand because everything I'm reading for this week is saying babies are usually five and a quarter pounds or five and a half pounds. So I feel like she's on target where she should be. But she was saying, you know, everything looked good and she's checking everything out with the heart and everything. So I'm not too concerned. Some people just have small babies that doesn't mean they're not healthy or anything so long as she's healthy whether she's small or big <laughs> so I have an appointment on Monday um, to be tested for the group B and I'll also be checked for dilation and effacement so as far as with this past week I'm uh, just trying to get the hospital bag and diaper bag together so once those are complete then I'll do videos and with my nursery it's still weighing on the chair, but I'll be getting it today, I found out. So, other than that, just getting the stuff on the wall. But as far as the necessities, or what I would consider necessities, she has. And I have done, like, some, hopefully, final purchases. Just purchases that I would like to have done before she's here. So, I'll show that to you guys. So the majority of what I'm going to show you is from Amazon, but I've gotten things other places. So what probably the only thing I'm not going to show because it's still in the box is the pack and play. So I did get that. I purchased that from Burlington's. I didn't get one with all the little bells and whistles. I just got one with a full size bassinet that you can utilize that way and that can be removed and you can use the playpen portion. And the reason why I went with that is because we have decided to have her in the room the first few months, which I wasn't really considering that. And I didn't want to get a bassinet because they outgrow them so quickly. So at least with the pack and play that offers a bassinet, at least that's more practical. And it's just, with it being so many concerns with SIDS and everything, um, you try to do everything that you can to prevent it. And based on the childbirth education classes, they say that that's one of the things that's most helpful with having the baby sleeping in the, the room with you. So I got that. Got some books. So this is I Am Michelle Obama, The First Lady. So it basically just tells the story of her. And I just really love the illustrations. So... I got this from what we call the Zora Neale Hurston Festival. So, not going to give you a big spill on Zora Neale Hurston, but basically she was an author, anthropologist. She just did a lot of awesome things um, with being an African-American woman 
I actually took a class that was completely on her in college. So they have a festival here every year um, to honor her since she's from Florida. And basically at the festival they have books, obviously, um, like African artifacts, natural products like shea butter and stuff, um, food. So it's just a fun festival that they have for a week. And I think that's nice that they commemorate her. I got this for $5 and when I was looking at it on Amazon, I mean it was only a few on sale there, but some were even like $100 so I don't know if it's already out of print or if it's considered a collectible item, but if it can go for that, I'm definitely <laughs> holding on to this book. And I did a separate video with the baby swing because it's in the nursery. So I'll insert that into the, the video. It's me here with Miss Trini Swing. So we went with the Fisher Price Snugga Bunny Swing. And it had really good reviews on Amazon. And also, when I was looking for like the top rated swings, this made most of the different lists that I saw online. So it does go for about 160 and like Babies R Us and stuff. But I was gonna order it off Amazon because Amazon has it for 126. And but before I did that, I called Once Upon a Child. So for those of you who aren't familiar with that store, it's basically a store that it sells gently used children and baby items. And sometimes they even have new stuff there. So I called to inquire to see if, I have two locations here, so I was trying to see if either of them had it. So one of the locations, they said they had just literally received it new in the box the day before, and they were selling it for 80 So I got a new swing for half the cost. So I was really excited about that. So I plan to do a review once she's here to see how baby likes it. But so far, what I like is I love the, the padding on the inside. It seems very soft and comfortable for baby. And I like that it's gender neutral. So something you could go either way and then if something you want to hold on for the next baby you know I think it'll work I like that it has an AC adapter because some of the swings that I was looking into only operated on batteries so it was good to have an option to still keep your swing running if you know your battery died or whatever which they will eventually then I was reading on how a lot of people I guess they weren't purchasing rechargeable batteries, but I was reading how people were kind of complaining about having to buy batteries all the time. So, um, in addition to that, what else I like is that you have the flexibility for it to swing side to side. And then you can turn it to a different position. And once it's in this position, you can have it swing back and forth. So I like that. And then, of course, it, like most swings, it has music and everything. Um, what I thought was a nice added feature is that it has, like, white noise. Like, this sounds like water. It's an outdoor one where you can kind of hear birds chirping and everything. So based on taking that happiest baby on the block class, you know, white noise can be really big for, for babies because they're hearing all types of noises while they're in the womb anyway. Definitely plan on reading to her. I feel that that's really fundamental. That's one of I have lots of vivid childhood memories, but that's one of my vivid childhood memories from my grandmother reading to me all the time at a very early age so I plan on just continuing to build her collection I did buy some books from consignment sales and stuff so she kind of already has like a little collection going on so what I got was I love you through and through full 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 of love 
Good Night Moon, which is a classic. I remember this as a kid. I got the Baby Touch and Feel Animals book. So I like it here that it shows the different animals and it's things that you're actually feeling on there. So with this, on Amazon, when you're looking for books, you can sort the category by children's books. And then from there, you can break down from birth to two years old. You can also sort by relevance or popularity. So with looking under popularity, this, you know, was one of the top books. And then I had recently saw, I believe, with Modern, Modern Mama 1, she had purchased this book and she referred this too. So I thought that was, you know, I recognized it from when she had mentioned it. And I also ordered the other book that she had mentioned. I just haven't got it in yet. And then I got Dr. Seuss's ABC, an amazing alphabet book. So it just has different things in here that starts with the letter. Okay, and I got the baby monitor. Went with the Angel Care movement sensor with sound monitor. So this, from what I've seen, has excellent reviews. Um, it's a really good deal to get it off Amazon because this goes for over, you know, a hundred, like in Babies R Us and everything. And on Amazon, I think this was 85. So basically why I went with this is because this mat you see here goes under your mattress the baby's mattress and if it doesn't detect any movement for 20 seconds it alerts you so with once again with the scare of SIDS even though it's a random occurrence but I did learn that it is more common within the african-american community which I didn't know that until the class so I got this to kind of try to prevent that. Um, as I said, it had lots of good reviews and really the only negative reviews I saw, which it was few, was just people complaining about false alarms, but I'd rather deal with, you know, a false alarm. It's better to be safe than sorry. But a lot of people were saying it was well worth, you know, their peace of mind. But you can't adjust the sensitivity level, so I don't know if they just had the level up too high it, that's why they got the, the false alarms also on here it's a piece on here that's a night light um, this it will be a full color display and it shows the temperature in the room which I think that's good to track of because baby should be you know within certain temperatures so I'll do a review once I'm utilizing it